please tell us about the war between the Emperor Rimush of Mesopotamia and the Indus Saraswati civilization as was mentioned in the inscription. Right, so this King Rimush of Mesopotamia, he was, he was the second king of the Akkadian Empire. He, he was in power in the 22nd or 20, 23rd century BCE, about 4,300 or so years before today. So as always, let's go to the map. Okay, first let me show you what this gentleman looked like. So this is believed to be a representation of, of Rimush, the second emperor of the Akkadian Empire. It's a strangely familiar face somehow, isn't it? Okay, map. So here's the map. We were in, in, in Europe. Let's come back eastwards. So this is present-day Turkey, Anatolia. And this is where Rimush reigned. Let me... Okay, this is better. So you can see Kuwait here. You can see Basra, if you can see my mouse pointer. So this empire, the Akkadian Empire, was in power from this, this region near the Persian Gulf all the way into Syria, and it had it also encompassed parts of Anatolia. So it was this region over here, which you can see in my mouse via my mouse pointer. So that was the Akkadian Empire. And this king, Rimush, was the neighbor of, a, of another empire, a proto-Persian empire, which was called Ilam. So Ilam was to the east of, of, Acad, uh, of the Akkadians. It was essentially western, uh, southwest, uh, southwestern Iran. So the region of the Persian Gulf over here, if you can see my mouse pointer, that is, that is Ilam. There was a proto-Persian empire, a kingdom. And to the east of Ilam, you had Marhashi, which was another proto-Persian uh, region. And Ilam and Marhashi both were strongly influenced by ancient India, by the Harappan uh, phase of India's civilization. So you can see, if you look at the uh, artifacts, archaeological artifacts, carving, statues, etc. These are very, very reminiscent of what you find in the Sapta Sindhu region during the Harappan or Indus Valley or Saraswati uh, civilization era of India, of Indian civilization. So Ilam and Marhashi were both uh, strongly influenced by India, by the by the Saraswati civilization. So this guy Rimush, he was in power for about eight or nine years only. He was the son of the great king Sargon of Akkad. So Rimush fought a war with first with the Elamites and then with the people of Marhashi. So it is said that when he fought the people, the, the kingdom of Marhashi, uh, the Marhashi uh, were, were helped by troops from Meluha. So Meluha is the ancient name that these uh, uh, Sumerians, Akkadians, etc. gave to the Indus Valley or Saraswati Valley civilization. So basically Indians went and fought on behalf of the Marhashi kingdom against uh, this king Rimush of Akkad. And Rimush in his inscriptions, he says that he won this war and he defeated the people of Marhashi and their uh, Indian allies. So that is what he has recorded that is the, that is the claim he has made maybe he's right uh, that's that's what uh, historians believe so that is the war that he waged against not against india but against this uh, eastern iranian kingdom called marhashi and the marhashi people were helped by indian allies and even the elamites had a great deal of indian influence so that again ties in with what we know of Persia, that it is a descendant of India. The, the Persian people are the descendants of the Parshwa clan of the Rigvedic people. So we can see the, these influences right here because Indians went and helped the Marhashi people who were basically uh, de facto Persians. So that's an interesting aspect of, of ancient history. Uh, Rimush, this king, was in power for eight or nine years only. He was assassinated and then his brother took over. His brother had a much longer and more uh, successful uh, reign as the king of the Akkadian Empire.